this one an example for more circle more circle is used to combine um, to see the effect combine effect of uh, normal stress and shear stress um, so anything we have done before we didn't really combine both of them we separately calculated shear stress and normal state separately now in this example I'm going to show you how to calculate them um, combinedly how to see the combined effect of um, you can see this different shear stress acting on this plane think about we take a piece of cross section from um, a member that has facing this uh, normal stress 12 ksi in the x direction and then um, the shear stress is 4 ksi in all direction and then there is a compression y uh, value so sigma x is that and then the compression value compression stress in the y direction which is 8 ksi and that because this is compression we use negative for that and tension is used positive and then the uh, tau xy um, clockwise is used positive so which is um, so on the x phase we can just write tau x on the x phase we have a clockwise shear stress which is positive 4 ksi and then on the y phase we got um, also 4 ksi however this is counterclockwise so that's negative 4 stress negative 4 ksi now the way the to calculate this is using more circle of course we can use equation but we're going to use the more circle to see the combined effect of shear stress and normal stress now we're going to plot the number one the two points that is given so we have uh, x phase uh, values of the normal stress and shear stress and then we have y phase values for the normal stress and shear stress so on the horizontal axis we plot normal stress and on the y axis we plot shear stress and then we'll show you a step by step how to calculate them now for the x uh, normal stress which is 12 ksi let's say 4 8 12 so that's 12 ksi and then on the x phase we have a clockwise direction 4 ksi shear stress and that goes clockwise positive so go up so that's the point that is 12 4 both of them positive all right now we have the compression stress at the y phase which is negative so it goes negative 8 uh, to the left side here and then the um, shear stress on the y phase is counterclockwise that is also a, a negative so that goes here about 4 so let's say that's 4 8 12 then I draw this this is the then this is the diameter of the Mohr circle so there's an we just draw the circle like this and then the stress the normal stress kind of changes so normal stress and shear stress on this body as we move along the Mohr circle we can see that on this axis right here there is no shear stress zero shear stress now as we go move along then the shear stress increases normal stress decreases at this point we have highest shear stress so let's calculate this center of the circle then we'll be able to calculate all the other information so center location um, calculation the formula for that location the formula for that is sigma mean I'll just explain what that by this example plus sigma max minus sigma mean divided by 2 I just invented that formula so sigma mean in this case I have negative 8 you just see the value not the negative positive sign but when you calculate it use the negative positive sign so minimum is negative 8 plus 
the max is 12 8 12 um, psi uh, ksi thousand pound minus eight and then you got minus here so minus minus divide by two so that's gonna be minus eight ksi and then this piece is plus 12 plus eight so that's 20 divided by two that's 10 so I get two plus two ksi that's the central location from this axis so this is the zero coordinate so that is two so this is going to cut from this two so you know this two and then we also know this is actually the circle kind of goes like that anyway so that's 12 so we can know this we know this this is four and then we can calculate this the total up to this is 12 and this is 2 so this would be then 10 so we can find this radius 10 is square plus 4 is square I found that let me get my calculation I got that 10.77 so that was calculated the radius was calculated 10.77 so the radius of the Mohr circle is 10.77 ksi. I'll just ignore this unit here. There is no conversion, so it should be good even without considering the unit. So now the maximum sigma is the, we can just follow this Mohr circle. The maximum is right here where it cuts this x axis in this particular case. This piece is known as sigma 1 called principal normally stress sigma 1 we can calculate that by if this is the center the whole radius is 10.77 and that's 2 so that whole sigma 1 would be 10.77 plus 2 which is 12.77 and then for the same reason if this is the radius 10.77 if this is 2 so we can calculate this this is sigma 2 so this we can calculate by 10.77 minus 2 which is equal to 8.77 now we know the sigma 1 and sigma 2 then von Mises stress is calculated by this way von Mises stress uh, is the calculated as sigma 1 is square plus sigma 2 is square minus sigma 1 times sigma 2 so that would be I have calculated 11.3 ksi that's the von Mises normal stress now von Mises shear stress is calculated is square root of 3 times the um, shear stress from the maximum shear stress from the normal from the Mohr circle so maximum shear stress from the Mohr circle is right here which is the radius which is 10.77 so square root of 3 times 10.77 so that would be equal to uh, 18.63 ksi so that is the shear stress, von Mises shear stress. This is the von Mises uh, normal stress. Now we compare these stresses with the material allowable strill stress. So does this cross the material allowable um, sigma normal stress or the material allowable shear stress? If it crosses that, then it's going to fail. If it doesn't cross, then the design will be fine.